Hey, my name's Zach. If you're afraid of losing your custom icons, it's really good practice to keep one generic folder for all of them. So I'll show you what I have set up. So here I am in Explorer, and we'll go to my documents. I have a file called icons here. And this is where I save all my icon files. As you can see, here's all my icons. If I were going to, let's say, change this to a different icon, all I would do is right click, go to properties, go to customize, and change icon. I could select some of the generic ones that are here already, but those are pretty boring. So I'll go to browse, and it navigates right to my icons folder. But if it hadn't and brought me to my desktop, all I would do is hit documents, icons, and I could select any of these. I like this frog, so I'll select that one. Hit open, OK, apply, and OK. Now I have a frog icon there. Now keep in mind, like I said, you really want to keep one folder with all your icons in it. Let's say you made a desktop icon and then accidentally deleted the icon file from your documents folder. It is no longer going to be that icon once you either restart, refresh your computer, or do anything like that. So keep it in the same folder and you're going to be good to go. My name's Zach, and thanks for watching.